Hey guys, I made a video of the first wash of the GR and for the first wash I'm using Dawn in the Foam Cannon because it's a good degreaser and I'll probably use it in the second wash as well for prepping for the ceramic coating but once I apply the ceramic coating I'll use Carpro Reset which you can see in the background there. So the tennis balls I use here under the front tires to prevent the hose from getting caught under the front tires. And I actually saw that on Instagram. It works pretty well. So I start off here with doing a pressure rinse of the car, the underside and all surfaces of it. And then I do a pre-foam. So this is just a touchless foam application where uh, I'll put this first application of foam on and then just let it sit for like five minutes as it uh, runs off the car. And this is just to get rid of any loose dirt um, and stuff that easily can come off the car without having to touch any of it um, and risk any um, swirl marks or any scratches on a touch wash. So then after it's sat for about five minutes, I'll rinse it off. And then I do a second application of foam. And then this is the touch portion of the wash where I use a wash mitt to agitate uh, to get rid of the dirt that, that hasn't come off in the touchless part of the wash. And I'll just use the wash mitt and turn it over from time to time to a clean part of the wash mitt. And I'm doing the one bucket method here. I don't use two buckets because I'd rather just save the time by applying all the soap at once uh, and just use a rinse bucket to uh, rinse the mitt from time to time and I also make sure to get the door sills uh, the gas cap And then the tires, I use a different wash mitt to agitate. So I like the one bucket method just because it saves me time. Um, it doesn't, I don't have to take time dipping the mitt in a soap and then rinsing it off and then uh, doing that repeatedly so I like the time savings and that's worth it to me I've just found it to be uh, more efficient the way that I do washes so I do a rinse again and then I use a leaf blower to dry the car off once I've rinsed it and this is a good way to again just avoiding touching the car as much as possible and it's actually pretty fast too, so it's an efficient way to dry the car. And so that's the whole process for the first wash. This took me a total of 48 and a half minutes, so less than an hour to do all those steps. And I've just tried to make it as quick as possible, um, as efficient as possible, and to minimize the touch touching of the car. So moving forward, I'm going to um, do another wash to prep it for the ceramic coat. Uh, I've decided to use a graphene coating for the glossy parts of the car. And then for the matte roof, I'll use a matte uh, ceramic coat for it. And uh, I'll make a video of that uh, when I'm ready to do that. So 
Thanks a lot. Take care.